Hello, it's me again, back from England. Um, just thought it'd be nice to bring White Cloud and hopefully the weather the Federation, the Federation of Light, good start, the Federation of Light through, um, because of these exciting times that we are about to hit, or are about to hit us. Um, I am aware that uh, this Wave X is coming. Um, the Federation of Light don't specify that um, that's what it's called. They say this amazing energy of love is coming through. And interestingly enough, the um, pillars of light. Well, there's an interesting thing, isn't it? All those years ago, I think it was 2011, and the Federation way back then started speaking of these massive pillars of light that were going to start coming through and they'd have all this energy and information and knowledge and that they'd come through before the end of 2011. And for those of you that were with me way back then, <laughs> there was no pillars of light. I think maybe one or two, it wasn't like it was said. And I had a bit of a fallout with them because, you know, our street cred, theirs and mine, was rapidly going out the window once again because they said they'd be there by the end of 2011 and they weren't. So I had a bit of a do and I said, well, until you can come up with the goods, you know, that you say you're going to, I think I'll call it a day for now. So I did for about three months. And then after that, I was you know, it just felt wrong for me not to be channeling because I came to the conclusion that, you know, I don't understand the whole timing of things and, you know, they come from a long way away. A lot can get misinterpreted by us humans down here in this third density. So um, I resumed my friendship, shall we say, with them. And, uh, and then lo and behold, now this year, as I said in my channeling the other week, what's a few years between friends? And these massive pillars of light are beginning to show up all over the globe. Um, and in the latest um, audio channeling I did, um, you know, they said that they will, there will be more and more of them and they will come as well in these beautiful rainbow colours, which would be spectacular, won't it? So we'll wait and see what happens with that. I'm not going to talk um, too long. You'll be pleased to hear. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to um, share with you that um, I'm aware that myself and many others um, are feeling really flat. This was long before my mother passed away. When I went to England, I'd been feeling this feeling of, I'm done. I am done. I surrender. I have nothing left to give. Blah. You know, and I've been feeling like that for probably a couple of years, just this lack of enthusiasm for my life, you know. <laughs> and I believe me, I've got nothing to, to moan about, as I've said before, but it's just this, okay, 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 without this oomph, without this, it, you know, feeling of great enthusiasm, which I've had before, so I don't know where it's gone, because I can't find it. So I'm hoping that this wave of energy that's coming through is going to really uplift um, me <laughs> and many others, really, that are feeling the same. Um, they write in to say, and I've come across people, um, and it's not that I am depressed, I'm just... And I feel like I don't have this great connection to source, to the divine source. And yet, of course, we all do. We can't lose it. Um, and whatever I try, you know, meditation and all different kinds of things to get myself back up there, it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm done. I'm done. I did inquire with the Federation not long ago. And a couple of channelings ago, um, you know, is this emptiness, this feeling, lack of luster, to do with the fact that we need to be empty so that when this massive wave of 
love comes through, we can be filled up with this new energy. And they said, indeed, this is the case. They also said that these pillars of light are sort of connected with this wave of energy that is coming through. Now, a lot of people say September, the end of September. A lot of people are saying 28th of September um, is, is the date. I've asked and they said by the end of the year. I think we have a little thing about dates. So we'll see. I'm, I'm hopeful. That is the thing. I can't say I'm feeling it as it's getting nearer and nearer because I'm not. I'm like, hmm, I should be getting excited. But I'm not. But I am getting hopeful, thinking, oh, dear God, <laughs> please let this energy shift into a, a higher light, a higher vibration, because there's many of us that need it. So, yeah, I'd say I'm hopeful about it, and we'll wait and see. So, really, that's all I'm going to say. Aren't you pleased about that? Um, and I'm going to bring my cloud through, and um, if the Federation are up for a visit too, then they will follow on, I'm sure. But White Cloud always comes through as my gatekeeper. Um, so for those of you who have seen this happen before, you'll see me pull many strange faces as White Cloud's coming through. I wish it could be a couple of breaths and there he is, but it doesn't work like that for me. So I'm sure um, you will enjoy his energy and his words of wisdom if he's about. Okay. A very warm welcome to each one of you that is watching uh, this little telecommunication that Blossom and I uh, bring through to you. I am aware of the way many of you have been feeling as Blossom also has expressed. And yet I say to you, my friends, allow this feeling to work its way through you. It is all right to feel flat. It is not a rule that you must feel full of life and joy and energy. It is just nicer when you can do so, is it not? But do not beat yourselves up for feeling a little low a little uninspired. Because I say to you,
there is a light of love that carries with it all the joy that one could possibly contain within their being. And it is there for each one to accept, to acknowledge, to understand. This love light, this wave of energy, will help you to understand who you are. Love, of course. Yet it will bring through a deeper level of understanding of who you are of love. As it filters into your atmosphere and therefore absorbed by your being, you shall experience the nearest uh, would I say possible feeling of bliss that can be encountered within the level of energy that is coming of course, there are higher and higher levels of this bliss and yet it cannot come through on that level, on the highest of levels because you would explode with bliss and that would not be a pretty sight. <clears throat> Breathe as we say to you many times breathe breathe in that energy absorb it throughout your being and then let it out let it mingle with the breath of each one, with the life energy of the trees and the flowers and the water, the air that you breathe shall be filled with a higher energy of love. And it is there for you to freely inhale in and out, in and out. And as you become more aware of this wonder, this breath, that is life, you shall find yourself feeling the connection that you feel is missing for many of you. In and out. In. And it 
is now that I shall step aside and leave room for my colleagues known to you as the Federation of Life. Many thanks. We are so grateful for this opportunity to speak with you via this Lady Blossom, yet in a more profound sense in that it is not just our voice, our sound vibration we are able to offer you. Yet by the visual contact, we are able to offer our love to you on a much deeper level. As you look into our eyes, we consider that you are able to connect your heart with the higher level of love that we offer you. Dearest souls of earth, The time is now upon you that your souls have been waiting for since you arrived on this planet Earth. It is now, dearest ones, that an energy shall filter through, filling your souls with the higher level of love, as our colleague White Cloud, as he is known to you, spoke of also.
be of excited heart, excited mind. Remember when one was a child and it was the eve of a birth celebration day. That excitement where one found it difficult to lay one's head to rest and close the eyes. For they knew, you knew, that when waking in the morning, so many gifts would be offered you. So therefore we call it the birthday of this new energy that will fill your beings with gifts that many of you have never even considered. You shall find yourselves manifesting, creating, laughing, giving of self, giving to self. sharing who you are with each other. You look into one another's eyes and you see only love. Only love. We have been speaking of pillars of light. Dearest ones, these pillars are now able to be visible by you because of the energy level as a whole that you have lifted yourselves into. And as this energy pours through into your planet and your vibration lifts higher and higher, then more and more of these pillars of light these pillars of energy that shall eventually present themselves to you as rainbow light, as we have said. Shall fill you, shall connect with you. Your beating of your heart shall resonate with the beating that is deep within these pillars. We have spoken also of the knowledge, the information that these pillars contain, bit by bit, so very gradually, shall they emit information that is required for individual who have agreed beforehand to accept this information 
in this way. Your time of downheartedness is to be over. Your souls from the deepest place within shall lighten, brighten, exude this higher energy of love which then can be released through the breath to those who have not yet received the higher energy for their being is not able to do so until their energy rises to a certain level in order to absorb the higher energy. Each one at their own pace, dearest souls. The pathway that you walk is at your own pace. There is no race, there is no rush. For is it not that which you involve yourself with that is of greater value than the actual reaching of your destination. Be aware of yourselves and who you are. We shall speak again when the moment is appropriate. We love you. And so it is, my friends. We end our communication for this day. Feel with your hearts the love we bring through. Feel with your hearts as we do the love that you are and allow it to shine out to everyone and everything upon your planet, out to all universes for love is love 
We give thanks to the Divine Oneness for allowing this time to take place. We ask always that we may remain humble in order to serve, in order to receive. very interesting at the little blessing at the end there when he said in order to serve and receive there was something in me that said that's not what he usually said and everything went blank and as he was leaving then I thought oh he didn't say so that we may continue to walk boldly as the light and the love so I've said it for him <laughs> Okay, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I look forward to doing it again sometime. I'm not going to show you Chief today, my little puppy, because while I was away in England, Goody, my husband, took him to have a haircut and brought back a poodle. <laughs> he sent me a photo and I was like, what have you done? It'll grow. I know it'll grow. So until it does a little bit and he's around somewhere anyway, I'll leave that for another time. Thank you so much for listening and watching. And truly, truly, truly from my heart, I really hope, I hope, as opposed to know, because I don't know, that this energy will come through and bring the change that we have indeed all been waiting for. So until next time, Blossom Good Child signing off. Many thanks.